Hello, citizens. This is the Drake Corsair, and welcome to Star Citizen Rated. Before we rate, let's discuss the rating system. I like stats. Stats are useful. Here's some right now. But I started this rating system for myself in order to try and answer this one question. What ship provides the best experience in Star Citizen? I love what Star Citizen promises to offer, and I know the gameplay will come. But it's not here yet, and not all ships are made equal. So join me as I try to find the ship or ships that can give the most immersion possible in the current state of the verse. With that in mind, I have broken my review into two main categories, ship model and capabilities. With the ship model, we will rate visual detail, sounds, interactivity, crew accommodations, flight model, and quantum travel. And with capabilities, we will determine what kind of tasks each ship is capable of and to what degree. With all that said, here we go. Okay, the Drake Corsair, the newest ship on the block. It's a very good looking ship. Certainly unique with its design, but it's very Drake, and you'll see what I mean by that. I like the front turrets. Though that landing gear is ridiculous. The rivets, everything looks very detailed. Very well textured. Paint is great. That landing gear is annoying. The shine on it is pretty good too. You know that some other ships had uh, problems with their shine on the exterior, in my opinion at least. But not this ship. I wonder if you can read all that. Wow. Wow, that's nice. I haven't bothered to look at any other ships. If this is the only one that can do that or... And then even up there in the grate, it looks great. The grate looks great. Uh, the 400i looked really horrible when you looked up inside the landing gear the housing but this looks pretty good it kind of even looks uh, a little bit 3d ish so it's got some depth to it i mean look at how much detail is up there that's crazy i mean maybe i'm biased because I really love this ship. But this certainly has one of the most detailed exteriors I've seen in the game so far. Not much interactability, it looks like. That landing gear is so short. They got to be fixing that. It can barely land on moons. I like the exterior piping and the hoses. It's very Drake. Exterior airlock. The second turrets. I think these have got to be manned by the pilot. That's a crazy amount of weaponry. Alright, let's go inside. I like these buttons. I like that the... Whoa. Yeah, that's nice. I like that these later ships are, uh, are using actual physicalized buttons. There you go. Oh, that sounds so good. Someone needs to make some ASMR videos just on that. Just on the Drakes. 
maybe I'll do that. Be my ASMR series. I wonder when that's going to be usable. And these panels. Hmm. It doesn't look like the components are accessible, physicalized. That's weird. Because this is a later ship. Well, that's automatic, okay. And then lights. Looks good. Nice. All right, and then the engineering section. Not workable. Oh, I like that the little fan in there. That's cool. I wonder when these are going to be workable. And what you're going to do with these. Nice little engineering section. Still no component access, though. All right, nice little uh, kitchen meeting area. Again, lights. Pretty good ambiance. Hmm. What's over here? What's this? Oh, it's dark. Wow. Oh, a little, uh, little bathroom. Cool. Can I sit down? Haha. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Leave me in peace. Okay, enough of that. Cool. And you got a little shower right there. Is that what that is? Any of this interactable? What's that? Oh, that's just a little bit of glitching, I guess. Okay, and then these are, what, bunk rooms? And what's that? Is that a separate bathroom? or? Oh, that's closed storage. Okay. Pretty small, but I can dig it. And then another... Yeah, another crew quarters. What's this? What? Oh, this is the lift. You can uh, go outside or... I think you can go onto the top of the ship. Which one does which? Alright, that's for this floor, right? Yeah. And then this one goes up. No, down. It's cool. I'm gonna have to use this next time I wanna go inside. Although, you know me, I'm kind of afraid of lifts in Star Citizen. This one. Uh, goes up to the roof, right? How come it's not working? Oh, the roof's open. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Very nice. I love this. It's really dark. I chose the uh, location well for this. You're welcome. I heard something about a uh, glitching. If you try to walk off the surface, then the artificial gravity like kind of stays to this one lift surface. So be careful, guys. Anyone's trying to do that. Okay, let's check out the... Oh, those are the turrets. Let's check out the uh, pilot seat cockpit. Oh, wait. Oh, another room. What is, is there a light? Where's a light? It's inside. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. This is for the pilot. All right. Co-pilot seat. We'll check that out in space. All 
All right, let's get going. Okay, let's let's hear the startup. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Nice little gentle takeoff. I want to see that landing gear come up. Short, stubby little landing gear. I like the red engines, though. That's pretty hot. Look at those wings. That is so cool. You know, I'm usually a fan of symmetrical design, but for some reason it works on this Corsair. And some of the other ships in the verse. Someone was saying that the uh, Drake Herald was supposed to be asymmetrical. I looked at those designs. They look pretty good. Kind of wish they did that. Okay. Flight model is a little a little slower than you'd think. Look at that boost. Oh my goodness. Now that is a cool looking boost. Not a fan of the sound though. I don't know if you can hear it with me talking, but I don't know, it just sounds like a really big vacuum cleaner. I think it needs some work. Okay, let's check out the quantum. Where can we go? Now, it does have a pretty big uh, quantum fuel tank. So, it definitely has some... Uh, Quantum travel going for it. Who's that? Player. I don't really do PvP. It's not my shtick, fellas. It's the usual quantum visuals and sounds. Maneuverability in space is... I don't know, it's okay. Alright, let's check out the co-pilot seat. I wanted to see this. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. You got your own little section down here. I wonder what communications would be like having to talk to your pilot up top. It's weird. But it's definitely new, unique and cool looking. All right. Nothing, nothing's really functionable. That's annoying. Huh. Just a remote turret. Is that a top turret? I didn't even see this one. Wow. How many turrets does this thing have? I'm I'm guessing three. <laughs> well, it's not bad. Guns seem kind of weak, though. 
That is definitely one of the coolest co-pilot chairs I've ever seen, though. That's... That's nice. Look at that. Is that a second... Or is that a additional MFD, or... Or is that redundant? In any case, I'm really loving this ship so far. I only wish these buttons were actually functional right now. I can't wait for the gold standard pass. Okay, we're going to try our hands at a HRT bounty. I was going to do VHRT, but they were set at a wreck site, and I just didn't want to travel for 20 minutes. So It'll be nice when the, uh, the quantum boost is uh, available. What do we got? A Valkyrie. Good, good target for this. We got eight size three missiles. It's okay. It's not a missile boat though. Wow, strong language. What else is there? See, missiles are almost useless in this game. Can't even take out a target with a, with a direct hit. Come on. Okay, never mind. Let's just get our target. Let's see how you like this. I don't know, for some reason... For some reason, my yaw is just not really working. Yeah, it's definitely a lot slower than I originally thought it was going to be. Look at all that firepower, though. I didn't explode from that. All right, now come back here. Ah, uh, yeah, this thing is really—it's really handling like a bus. I don't know. Maybe my controls are all jacked. Ah, uh, forget it. I already got my bounty. I'm getting out of here. So, under ship model for visual detail, I gave it a 5. It has amazing details, the best I've seen in Star Citizen. No visual glitches either. Great job, CIG. For sound, I gave it a 5. It has amazing sounds, very intricate and realistic. I think the boost is lacking, but that's almost nothing compared to what they got right with the rest of the ship sounds. For interactivity, I gave it a 4. There's so much more potential for this with all of the pilot and engineering controls. I considered giving it a three. However, the light and door switches are all functional and not a single ship has accomplished even that as well as the Corsair. So it gets a four. For crew accommodations, I gave it a five. Beds, check. Bathroom, check. Common area with kitchenette, check. Roof access for stargazing and the occasional rail gunner, check. What more could you want as a pirate? For a flight model, I gave it a three. Handles like a bus. Maybe it should, maybe it shouldn't. I don't know. But the yaw was unworkable. Even with the concessions I gave CIG for limiting yaw rates in Atmo, it was still horrid. I don't think it deserves a two, but it's close. For quantum travel, I gave it a four. It has a large quantum fuel tank, more than you'd ever need at this point. The visuals and sounds are not unique, but that fuel tank and size 2 drive is plenty for any crew. So for capabilities under single player combat, I gave it a 4. It has 4 size 4 laser cannons and 2 size 3 laser cannons, 
all on gimbals under pilot control. I don't know how that's possible, but they did it. It has more firepower than the Connie's. This ship is S plus tier. For multiplayer combat, I gave it a 4. See single player combat and add a remote turret for the co-pilot and two man turrets, totaling another 6 size 2 weapons. This seems to be the ultimate pirate ship right now. For hauling and trading, I gave it a 2. It has 72 SCU of cargo space, plenty enough to carry a vehicle or two or whatever cargo is left intact after you pulverize a caterpillar. For specialty, I gave it a 1. It can easily fit a rock, so you can go on mining expeditions. However, with the incredibly short landing gear on it, maybe the Cuddy Black or Freelancer Max would be a better choice. The short landing gear will cause issues when trying to land on most moons. For planet hopping, I gave it a 4. You can transport people, vehicles, inventory, and look good doing so. I haven't seen much, if any, glitching with this ship, so you can easily become immersed in the verse. For me, that makes this ship easily one of the best daily drivers in the game. For a party boat, I gave it a 2. You can hold a few people, but it's not very luxurious. However, that roof access is amazing and surely something to show every guest that comes aboard. So, total out of 54, it gets a 43. This is it. This is the ship that has scored the highest on my rating system thus far. It has its negatives, of course, and there are those who just won't like the design, which I get. But I bet that most would agree with me the immersive feeling of this ship is something I hope all ships in Star Citizen can do one day. Thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please let me know by hitting that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel for more Star Citizen videos. I would also appreciate any feedback you can give in the comments below. Let me know what I can do to make more informative and enjoyable content. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the verse. Oh, good explosion. <laughs> Evil turret.